Hey guys, I'm Cameron Wolf with In the Game. I'm Jessica Ebay. And I'm Randall Waddell. And we're here to talk about the UH men's basketball team. Legendary NBA Hall of Famer and UH alum, Elvin Hayes, was ecstatic to see Coach Guy Lewis inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. He emphasized how much he felt this honor was years overdue. Hayes, also known as the Big E, was one of several Hall of Famers to play for Coach Lewis. He stressed how much he learned from the coach, as a man and as a teacher. Good opportunity to tell him that you love him is very important. A lot of positive words there by Guy Lewis. Um, we definitely saw the crowd excited for probably the first time this year. What did you guys think about that? You know, I, I think it was a great crowd, but honestly, there's really no reason why we can't fill up the Hall of Hines Arena. Student body of 40,000, the city of Houston, and they play a pretty competitive schedule in the AAC conference with, with opponents like Cincinnati, Louisville, SMU, UConn. So, I, I mean, like I said, I'm impressed not to not to downplay it, but again, I expect it to be full. Free attendance for students. Yeah, I'm surprised that the students, not enough of them come. And I feel like maybe like the promotion, marketing, they don't tell the students enough that, oh, we have a basketball game on Sunday or Wednesday, and not enough of the students even know. So I feel like they can do better with that. See, I'm gonna have to refute that because they definitely announced the games a lot and I was actually looking up online and there's they, they hand out cooler cards to every event. And if you go to 56, or if you go to, if you collect all 56 cooler cards, you're eligible to receive a, a, a $1,000 scholarship. So not only are there incentives to go to the games, the games are also free, so. I think it's, it's gonna take team to get better for them to go to games, to be honest. I mean, people wanna see a good team. To be honest, I mean, like I remember when uh, back back uh, in 2011 when the football team had Case Keenum out there. Today's stadiums were full. Yeah, everybody wants to see a great team like that. But I mean, this team this team's not a team that people can get excited about. I mean, they got to get a lot of young players out there, and they got a lot of stuff they can build for for the future. But right now, people aren't going to come to the game unless they're convinced that's a team that is going to get national recognition. Um, what do you think? What do you guys think um, about? Previous in the season, we've had a lot of highlights and lowlights of the season so far. Um, what do you guys think? <clears throat> Biggest highlight of the season's got to be upset over a UConn team that was ranked number 17 at the time, and uh, obviously key players like Tayshawn Thomas almost averaging a double double, 15 points a game to 8.7 rebounds a game, and Daniel House, despite him going down for about six seven weeks with meniscus injury, still averaging 12 points a game to five rebounds a game, and the potential high round draft pick if he was to leave this year and in the future. Well, early in the season they started off 6-0 and I feel like real a real turning point in the season was when they lost two games in, uh, up in the Barclays tournament or earlier in the season when they played Stanford and Texas Tech. That was a real chance to separate themselves and bring themselves to actually be a competition that team people will look out for, you know. Uh, Stanford and Texas Tech are not, are not usually juggernauts in the NCAA tournament but they're also prestigious colleges and big conferences so if you're able to beat those both of those teams and start a little bit undefeated streak you're able to get actual recognition right. and I mean I feel like that's where they really lost their big chance and to go ahead and separate themselves this season absolutely and they had a team like a Texas A&M on the schedule again not the best team in the Big 12 but nonetheless a big team in a big time conference right and um so far this season, they're they're eleven and twelve, and they're three and seven in the ACC, AAC. I'm sorry, and they're most likely not going to make the tournament. Um, their best chance right now is to hope for NCAA NIT bid. Well, I'm going to have to disagree on that point because there's eight games left, and what, the way I see it is that if they finish out strong, they they can get a high tournament, high conference tournament spot, and if they can go against all odds potentially and win the conference tournament, they get an automatic bid. So crazier things have happened in the past, and I'm not going to put it past them with the potential momentum and honestly how they finished in the game the other day with only, although it was a 15 point loss, it was a big difference compared to a 91-52 loss in the past to Louisville. And again, the national defending champs. You know, with these last eight games, like I was saying previously, it's gonna test their willpower and their strength and really see what they want out of the rest of this season. And you know, you, you say you were kind of knocking them out and rolling them out. Like I, the way I see it, Louisville has, as, a, as reported by ESPN, has the largest uh, win margin against like any team in the country. So they right. usually win games by more than 20. Right. Besides Louisville, there's really no other team in this conference who's really just separated themselves from the pack besides maybe a number seven Cincinnati. There's really no other team. SMU, they played the last previous Sunday. It was a close game the whole time and they barely lost. SMU is basically like a, a step above a mid-major. and. The rest of these teams in this conference, Memphis, that's, that's a common opponent. They've been playing them for years in the Conference USA to now. So I really don't see it potentially, like, like I really don't see how they can't necessarily have a shot. 
to make the NCAA tournament. I'd be shocked if they even finished with a winning record, to be honest. They lost by Rutgers by more than 20 points. They're not a good basketball team, to be honest. Um, they're a young team. Next year, next year they're going to be pretty good. Next year, they might make the tournament. You're right about that. But this year, it's, it's not happening. It's not going to happen, and um, that's really about it. Yeah, well, I believe in my Cougars. I believe in them. I know that I can see them winning, getting into the conference, so I believe in them. That'll be you and about the 50 fans there in the stands next year. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll be back later to show with some baseball commentary. Stay tuned.